Hey guys, it's me here. And if you've seen Justin Eel's channel, I'm sure you've seen these two Mowers in there. Yep, the two Murrays, side by side. This one's a 94, and this one is an 89, I do believe. And this one right now is having some uh, engine issues. Yep, yeah. as you can see, the heads are off on both sides because this is a twin cylinder. Yep. So, uh, I didn't put any Loctite on the left, the left cylinder spark plug, and I was trying to put it back in, and then I accidentally stripped it, or I started cross-threading it, but then when I pulled it out, I stripped it. So, yeah. And I'm, I'm gonna drill a hole in the head, and then re-tap it and put it in a Healy coil, and that should work. And also, uh, this isn't the original engine in here. The original engine's in here. Yep, a flathead. 12 horsepower, industrial commercial. Got, got a nice little custom exhaust going on. Looks like we got some, got some soot right there. Well, this used to be where I used to have a stack coming out, probably about that tall. But it didn't really work out because it kept wanting to fall. And we... I really wish that I didn't cut this hood to make the stack work because I'd, I'd like to have that. Pretty rusty. It was sitting in a field for three years, just in the snow and all types of a, like weather. Tires are pretty dry rotted. I just got this one. Used to have a, an old 12 horsepower Tecumseh overhead valve. It was, it was pretty bad. Rat's nest in it. It was a whole bunch of rat crap in between the breathing columns yeah and right here we're trying to make this one street legal and uh make it go pretty fast right now it hits around 45 and i got a my front pulley is four and a half inches and my back one is two Let's see if i can show you that yeah and I have an idler pulley right there. It's a pretty simple setup. Just had to make it go around my shifting linkage, if you could see that right there. That's my shifting linkage. And there's my clutch pulley. And if you can see that out there, that's a pretty big front pulley. Might even be a little bit bigger than four inch four inches is four and a half inches, I would say. Maybe five. And uh this belt. Talk about expensive. This belt was 40 bucks. Like more than 40 bucks actually. It was like 45. And also we were having problems starting it. So we uh, jumped my, my clutch pedal, the safety switch. We jumped it and just straight it. Like put the wire straight to the switch. So now it's fine. Also, got this nice new seat. This didn't come originally. It was one of these seats. Oh, and yeah. I'm sure you can see, but there's no padding on here. I took it off because it was all dry rotted and all cracked and stuff. And I just spray painted spray painted it black. And also look at this handle. This uh shifter knob. I just cut this off of like a bush and then got my skill saw and just chopped chopped it shorter and then started carving it with my knife. Fits on there pretty nice, and I, I drilled a half-inch hole in the bottom, and fits on there pretty good. I think I might do some touch-up with paint on this one, because this one's pretty junky. And on this one, I have a, uh, a two-inch root pulley, just like that one, but this one only goes like 15 for some reason. Yeah, can you see that back there? Same setup, pretty much, with the pulleys. Original front pulley though, as you can see, still got that deck pulley. Pretty nice though. It's just meant for off-roading. So it does does me pretty well in the mud. Thinking about getting some off-roading tires for it, because these ones don't really cut it. And yeah. I also mow, mow lawns for like money too. Like twenty bucks a twenty bucks a yard. Gets me my money for the mowers and stuff and tools. And 
And I'm sure you guys heard of Harbor Freight. That's where I get a lot of my tools. Got that nice little magnet from Harbor Freight right there holding my tools. This is where I keep all my screws and stuff. And here's here's the head. Here's the head that went on this side. The side that I didn't strip, if you can see that. See, the threads are still there. But my other one, my other one is at my neighbor's house because he's a mechanic. And we're going to do that. We sandblasted it, and the head looks brand new. We're going to sandblast this one, too, but he's not home right now. Oh, yeah. Here's the stack that used to be on that Murray. Just just piece of black pipe. About two feet long. Here's my uh, bigger toolbox. Pretty nice. My workbench. My, my yard. Grass cutting mower. And here's the hood that actually used to go on the black one, on the racing mower. Couldn't fit because I put this big old 19 and a half horsepower Craftsman on it. See? It's exclusively designed for Craftsman apparently, but I got this bad boy on a Murray. Yeah, and this is a turbo cool, so longer life. And it's also a platinum. Apparently it runs cooler and longer, engine life, smoother running, more fuel efficient, which I've noticed it actually is pretty fuel efficient. Quiet package installed. I ain't got no quiet package installed on there. I got a straight pipe. This pup, this puppy sounds nice. Dual element air cleaner. I don't know if that mean if that means like with the cover since I have a foam cover on it too, and I could take it off, I guess, or not. But I don't know what that means. Also had to buy some pretty long fuel line from Farm and Fleet. See how long that thing is going up to my fuel pump. It's got a pretty nice uh, carburetor on it, I would say. I actually didn't have to clean anything out when I got it, the engine. This engine was probably sitting for a while. It's pretty old. This engine's from 97. If I can zoom in on that, or if it'll focus. There we go. See? 97, if you can't really see that. Whatever. It was made in USA. It's Briggs. That's good. All Briggs's are nice. Oh, and uh, look at this nice horseshoe pedal I got right here. That's pretty nice. It doesn't do so well off-roading because I can't really grip here lower where I'd like to go. But it's pretty nice just for the street. And, uh, got my custom choke right here. This this is actually pretty nice. I just got it bolted on the side right there. Thanks, Justin, for helping me with that one. Yeah, just, me and Justin work together on all our stuff, usually. And also, I have my wires. It looks like racing wires off of, like, some sort of NASCAR. But they're it's to my charging system and all that. And my key switch. And my kill switch is right here. See? Custom. <laughs> And I also got this custom custom cap because there used to be a big hole in, in this one. So we just drilled it out and put in a fuel filter. And it's, it works great. It doesn't splash on me anymore. Also, let's, let's talk about my gas pedal. Custom gas pedal. Thanks to Fearless Front. Um, chrome wheels, which are actually pretty sick. I also got these chromey stem caps. Ooh, my wheels are dirty right now. It's been sitting for a little while because of the... The whole issue with that. Also, right now it won't start. I think it has to do with the solenoid. You can see that right there. That's my solenoid. I just bought one like a couple months ago, but I think it's gone bad. Yeah, it's pretty dirty in there because I used to mud with this thing. Look how dirty that is in there. I think there's no spiders in there. <laughs> yeah, here's here's these headlights. Or ah, headlights. What am I talking about? Tail lights. Got a nice basket. Here's my engine covers. These engine covers go on the side right there where the uh, heads are. Got a, a little side thing with jigger. Got my little toolbox right here. Not really any tools in it right now because I have them all in there. 
on this puppy. Holy crap, talk about a wasp. There's a wasp flying around in my garage right now. The hell? Ah! <laughs> you can see that thing. It's a giant wasp. I don't like it. There's a couple of them. This is the first time I've seen a wasp in my garage. Other than the giant cicada killer that was flying around over there. Okay, he's gone. Whew, that was scary. I got two new spark plugs for this puppy. J1901. I'm sure most of your engines take that if you have a riding mower or a push mower. This one came out of that one. Still pretty nice, but... I just got a new one. This one, as you can see, has a... I clean it up with my wire brush. It has a little bit of oil on it, so it doesn't really like starting. I have to get two because this is a twin cylinder. I'm sure you can see like the difference in colors right here. That's because it's so dusty from sitting. Yeah, here. Here's this basket. Just held on by a piece of flat stock and some bolts and a little bit of zip ties. Bungee cords hold. Oh, God. Why, wasp? Get out of here. I seriously want to kill that thing. Like, where's my spray at for that crap? I got wasp killer. Where's it at? <laughs> what the shit? This is creeping me out. Thought he was gone. hell is that? If I can get the bungee cord off. There we go. Finally got it on. Yeah, I got myself a nice ammo can. Thanks, Justin, for that one. Got one down while I was in Michigan. I'll show you my tools are in here. Is that the fucking wasp again? Oh, shoot. Look at him. I think I'm going to get him. I think I got him. Ah! You're probably going to get stung in about five seconds. Ah, let's bring this somewhere else. <laughs> Go! <laughs> bring it to the tow box. You hear a wasp? I hope I killed him. He went into the bush, so I can't see if I killed him. See that bush over there? He was right on that little white ledge on my garage door. He went. He flew into that bush. I'm kind of scared. I hate wasps. I hope I killed him. Let's turn on my handy dandy little light we got here. Yeah. Let's check out these tools. Looks like a mess in here, I know. We got a nice hyper tough thing from Walmart. This was only like 10 bucks for like a set of three of these with different ones. Oh crap. What's, what's that? There's gear oil on it. I don't even know how gear oil got on here. See that little, little shiny thing right there? That's gear oil. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much just like a, a tiny screwdriver set. It's actually pretty nice. It's got a couple Torx bits and a couple square bits. Got everything you need if it was it's small. It's ratcheting, so it's pretty nice. It's got a nice extension. It's a little bit smaller in my hand. I got this. I have no idea what it's called, but I think it is from Home Depot or something like that. Not Home Depot brand, but I think that's where it's from. It's pretty heavy because it's got some bits in it. Come on. A bunch of bits. 
It's got safety bits. That's nice. It's got a driver for like some stuff for these, I guess. I would assume. I think it's just an extension though. The chrome vandium, which is pretty nice metal, I'd say. Vanium. These are always pretty nice. And if you can see my wrenches in the back, those are from Walmart. It was 10 bucks for a set of those. And uh also came with metric. It was 18 piece. So that was pretty nice. And also from there I have a whole bunch of Also have some Allen keys from there. How do I get gear oil in here? You're kidding. A bunch of gear oil all over them. I hate gear oil. It's most horrible. Some more Allen keys. You got metric and standard for those. Just got some electrical stuff if you ever if you ever have any electrical problems on the trails. I don't know those pliers are always great to have in there. I always am gonna need these. Especially if you have any like cotter pins or need to cut wire or anything. Got, got some fuses. Because, uh, yeah, I've had a fuse before. A lot of Torx bits. All the way from T20, or, ah, T10 to T30. Also got some, ah, some square bits. Big one. <laughs> Should be another set of those, but whatever. Check out my wrenches. I got quite a few of them. Okay, here's the other one of those. Just my uh, regular screwdrivers and yeah, Phillips and flathead, all sizes. Electrical tape. I need to tape some electrical stuff up so nothing arcs or grounds grounds out. Vice grips. These always come in handy. You always need vice grips in there. Like some, some, some hitches, hitch clips, or whatever you want to call them. I got two, two of those in there. I got a craftsman there, huh? That's always nice. I got a Mac, Mac tools in here, Mac tools wrench, very nice, comes with 5 eighths, you can see that, and it comes with 9 sixteenths. So that one, got a nice Craftsman 3 eighths wrench. Stupid little drop forged half inch. Don't even know what brand that is. It just says drop forged. And I dropped forged 7 sixteenths. I think that's all I have for those things. For standard at least. Which is kind of dumb. But whatever. I've got a 6 millimeter. We're going through a match trick right now. 6 millimeter. 8 millimeter. See how small the thing is? Look how small this little 6 is compared to the 8. That's a pretty big size difference. 10. But 10s are pretty common. It's weird. Okay, now we got 11. 12. Thirteen. Fourteen. 
it jumps from 14 to 17. And finally, 18. Pretty nice set. Pretty nice set for 10 bucks, if you ask me. Dirty in there. Oh, yeah. Here's some rags that I keep in there just in case, like any grease or oil spills all over you. Oh, I got a receipt. That's, uh, I need to look at that. Always keep some wire. You never know when a wire is going to break and you're going to need it longer. Fuel filter. Old, old piece of junk fuel filter. Who cares? Holy crap, what's that? was a fly but okay i've got a grade five washer this thing was 43 cents you're kidding it wasn't even the right size i bought these or i guess good to have half inch by the way i do and these are three quarters these are actually the ones that i bought these previously but these were the right size and i'm kind of dumb because i was just estimating <laughs> got some cotter pins And a hitch pin. Ah, I can grab it. A little bit of change. I don't even know why I have that in there. But whatever. And I'll a little bit of fuel line. So yeah, that's what I got in there. Okay. Oh, that's all for today. I'll probably be posting more. Okay, see ya.